One of the Roadcaster video's coolest features is the ability to control it remotely from your computer, even wirelessly. This is incredibly useful if you can't be close to the console, allowing you to switch inputs, adjust settings, configure scenes, and even monitor your own production from afar. You can even have multiple computers controlling the one Roadcaster video at the same time, unlocking some pretty unique workflows for bigger productions. In this video, we'll take a look at how to set up and use remote control. To start, your Roadcaster video will need to be on the same network as your computer, either via Wi-Fi, like we have here, or via Ethernet, or connected directly via USB 2. If you need to set up your Wi-Fi, check out our video on getting connected. First, let's open Road Central and select our device from the list on the left-hand side of the screen, right over here. Then, we're gonna open the Scene Builder. Straight away, you'll notice that the bottom of the Scene Builder is laid out just like the physical buttons on your Roadcaster video console. And directly above that, you'll see a screen. You might have guessed it by now, these buttons are how you remotely control your Roadcaster video. Clicking buttons in the Scene Builder is exactly the same as pressing them on the physical console. So you can switch between your inputs, scenes, and media, including overlays. In fact, almost anything you can do on your Roadcaster video can be done via Road Central. The only things that are done a little differently are scene building and chroma keying. We'll cover these processes in more detail in their own videos, but let's quickly run through the basics. To start creating a scene, instead of clicking the multi-source button here, simply click the actual scene button you want to build a scene on. So let's go with A. From there, you can choose either template or custom and go from there. As for chroma keying, it's a similar story. Click on the input button you want to apply a key to. Let's go for number four. There's Heen. Now click the key drop down on the right over here and enable it with this toggle. It's as simple as that. For more detail on chroma keying, check out the video linked below. Now let's take a look at this screen in the middle right here. If you're in instant switching mode, the screen will show your live program feed, which is what your audience is seeing. You can use the inspect button if you want to switch this to a preview feed to safely review what's on your other input, scene, or media buttons. If your Roadcaster video is in studio mode, it works a little differently. This screen will show your preview feed instead, which is what you'll be using to build your scenes in this switching mode. Last but certainly not least, Rode Central also features an expanded audio mixer with complete control over every element of your audio production. This includes mixing, custom routing, audio processing and effects, and other unique settings for your various channels. We'll be diving into the audio mixer much deeper in another video, so keep an eye out for that one.